Okay, this is a really quick uh, lesson in response to uh, a request I got to do uh, Bright Lights, Big City by Gary Clark Jr. Um, this song only has a few chords in it, really has a basic riff, uh, you know, and a couple of other things. And the, the song really stands on uh, his singing style, uh, his percussive rhythm style, and then, of course, his, you know, his fantastic lead. Uh, so let's just, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, the elements of the song that should enable you to play it. Okay, the basic riff goes like this. Uh, and what he's doing there, um, the, you know, you could hold it, um, you know, you're, you're, you're going uh, A minor to a sort of a D form. You could do it like this, but... Uh, Gary Clark definitely does it like this. He wants to have this grip. And he actually only uses one finger to do this. Uh, what he's doing is he's barring um, the A string 7th and the uh, and the D string 7th. So I'm going to use these two fingers. He just does this. And the the rhythm is uh, you're, you're palm muting it and you're you're playing this sort of... Okay, and then you're hammering on uh, to the uh, D string seventh and the G string seventh, and it's the same rhythm there. You hang on to that, and then you're just picking that off and putting it back on the A string seventh and the D string seventh. So um, as slowly as I can do it. Okay, the next thing he does is he throws a little riff in there. It goes like this. And what he's doing there is um, you're starting on the, um, the D string 7th fret. And then you're going to the uh, G string 5th fret and hammering on to the 7th. And then you're grabbing the B string fifth and the G string fifth and playing. And then back to that uh, G string seventh. So very slowly it's. Okay, then the second part of the riff starts off the same way, but instead of ending on this note, it ends on this note, which is the D string 7th uh, fret, and it goes like this. Then he repeats the first part again. And he reaches up to the uh, B string, 8th um, fret, and plays. And then down to the 5th. And then pulls off from the G string 7th to the 5th. And then ends on this D string 7th. And when, uh, when he plays, he tends to keep, you know, he tends to anchor his... Um, his finger across this uh, fifth fret. So he's getting this kind of, instead of moving his fingers in between it, he's doing. And I 
that gives it uh, that particular Gary Clark sound. Okay, so while Gary Clark is playing, uh, he has a second guitarist who uh, just goes by the name Zapata. And he, uh, he tends to play a cleaner guitar, uh, often with tremolo on it. And uh, the, um, the flavor that he adds to Bright Light's Big City, uh, starting in, uh, after the, probably after the second verse, he'll add this little E minor uh, arpeggio that just goes like this. So I'm up on the uh, 12th fret. So 12th fret E string, um, and 13th fret B string, and 14th fret G string. And it should sound, uh, sounds like this. So I'm just running up, and then back down, and then there's a, like a half beat rest, and just play the... Um, the B string again. So. Okay, the only other two rhythm parts in the song, um, at one point he takes the basic riff and just changes the rhythm up. So instead of playing. Uh, he, he plays the same, the same notes, but uh, he's changing the rhythm to this. And then it goes back to. Um, and then at the very end of the song, uh, he has this bit where he plays. All he's doing there is he's reaching down with these, and instead of bringing these two fingers, or you know, in this case I think he uses one, but uh, instead of playing, he, he he takes the two fingers and reaches over to the um, E string and the A string on the eighth fret, and plays those two along with this bar on the fifth. Sounds a little difficult, but in fact, if you're using your thumb anchored here. As as you reach down here, you, you can take your thumb off, and that gives you a big stretch because you, you're not going to need that thumb uh, because you're fretting the uh, E string here. So it's just uh, and that's that's really it for the rhythm parts. Now the lead is all a minor pentatonic, um, and just keep in mind the thing that it two things that he he likes to do. Uh, he does a lot of unison bends, so it's and and the other thing that uh, he does, which I, I mentioned before, is he likes to uh, to leave, um, let's say the fifth the fifth uh, fret barred. And play a lot of pull-offs and, and hammer-ons against that, so it gives it this sort of uh, style to it. Um, uh, occasionally, he'll move up to this uh, uh, to the uh, the twelfth fret position and play those unison bends, and even uh, you know even up here at the uh, I guess it's the seventeenth, right? Of course, he has uh, he has excellent vibrato, so uh, that's another piece of his style. But I, I think really, if you stay in the A minor pentatonic and pick up those you know the the idiosyncratic riffs that he has, you'll 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 get the sound of it pretty well. So I uh, hope that helps.